Have you ever seen, in a movie now, not in real life, but have you ever seen in a movie where somebody is getting jumped? They getting whooped, they getting all these punches to the face, kicks to the chest, and they're sitting there smiling. Now, it's going to be two things that go through your head when you see that. Either this person is really, really crazy because they're sitting there getting beat up and they got a smirk on their face, or help is on the way. The Ravens pass rush this year has been overall they've been beat up they've been whooped it felt like at times they got jumped with all the holding that had been being done but the ravens pass rush this year and really for years for years it just ain't been getting it done it has not been cutting it uh it has not been working it has not been getting consistent pressure it has not been getting sex it just has not been happening but help is on the way help is on the way and the Ravens got some great news this mo great news this morning of expectations for practice this week. Let's read the report uh, straight from Jeff Zrebic. Uh He said, with the Baltimore Ravens, not only are they expecting uh, outside linebacker Tyus Bowser, who led the team in sacks last year, back at practice today. So today, Tyus Bowser should be back. Now, y'all know with Tyus Bowser, I thought that he was going to be back for sure week five because I was we ain't hear about no setbacks or nothing. We saw him out there running around. Oh, he's throwing a football around with the kids and stuff. And that's really, really nice. Um, but I, I thought that with Tyus Bowser, like, all right, he's going to be back week five for sure. Where he's going to come right off of that PUP list and he'll be good to go. He'll be straight. Let's get it. But week five came in. We didn't hear anything about Bowser. He wasn't activated, didn't play nothing. So for Bowser to be back, that is a beautiful thing. For him to be on the way back, that is great. That, that's better than great because the timing is everything. Raven, JPP now, hey, JPP, he been, he been he looked good last week. The first week, he was like, oh, okay, uh, but last week, he looked good. So he's been an improvement to the Ravens' pass rush. Uh, but to have Bowser back too and all the flexibility that Bowser brings and Bowser could help Adafi away because I believe Adafi away is playing Bowser's role right now. But anyway, let's keep going. So not only are the Ravens expecting uh, Tyus Bowser, who led the team in sacks back at practice today, they are anticipating rookie outside linebacker David Ajabo to make his practice debut this week, perhaps as early as Today, wow, wow, a job boy, a second round pick towards Achilles at Michigan Pro Day. Now, man, oh boy, that was really the kicker for me. Um, now, real quick, b before we get into this, it just because they practice does not mean that they will play this week, it does not mean that they will play right away. So, temper expectations with their return, but. With them practicing, it does mean that they are on the way back. It means that they're on the way back, and it means that, hey, once you can start practicing, it's like, okay, you, you're you medically cleared because you got to be medically cleared to practice. So in order to do that, you have to be healthy. So with Tyus Bowser, who tore his Achilles, week 17, David Ajabo, who tore his Achilles, pro day, they are both going to be they're both expected to practice this week. So that's a beautiful thing because it makes a Ravens weakness stronger. It, it gives the Ravens more options, even just based off of stamina alone. Because a job out there like, man, I'm out here fighting for my life. These dudes, they keep holding me. They grabbing me. They hugging me. Let, let me go, man. Let me go. But now he got help. You know, he, he got to be the person that's ha the most happy about this. Now, real quick, we always talk about on here how you cannot discredit fans. I, I hate seeing people discredit fans, discredit fans' knowledge, discredit fans' understanding, discredit what fans think about certain topics. I hate seeing that with a passion because it's just simply wrong. It's wrong. Just because a fan is a fan does not mean that the fan does not know what they're talking about. My guy, uh, Ravens Mafia, 
And I like that, I like that. Ravens Mafia. You got to say it out loud. When you read it, it don't look like Ravens Mafia, but when you say it out loud, it's a Ravens Ma, and it's M A. Then it's a capital letter F I A A. Ravens Mafia. But anyway, the other day, uh, he tweeted me uh, after John Harbaugh's presser. And he said, this got to mean something, right, Engraving Viz? And this is what he was talking about. Let's, uh, let's listen to it uh, out loud. Yeah, Harbaugh, hashtag Hood Harbaugh hit us with that Kodak Black. <laughs> I hope so. When it came to David Ajabo and Tyus Bowser working their way back after Jeff Zrebeck had asked him. But the thing that my guy caught was not only what Harbaugh said, but how he said it in his expression while the question was being asked. Harbaugh hit a little smirk. He hit a little smirk. And that's what my guy Ravens Mafia caught. And some other people who saw what Ravens Mafia tweeted, and they were like, oh, okay. We see it. We see it. Because, um, and, and my guy Brian said, well, Harbaugh never smirks like that. He never smirks like that. And I guess that ended up being a giveaway uh, because that, uh, that alluded to this, where we are right now with Tyus Bowser and David Ajabo being on the way. And, and this is such a beautiful thing. Um, with David Ajabo, I, I said this about Ronnie Stanley. I said this, continue saying this about David Ajabo as well. I said it about both of them. Anything, anything that you get out of either of those two this season, I said this going into the year, anything that you get out of both of those two this season is considered a bonus. It's a bonus. But if the Ravens can get a bonus added to their pass rush in the next couple of weeks, that can be beautiful. That can be great. And I know, rightfully so, too, a lot of people were upset and questioning the David Ajabo pick. And rightfully so, because it, why, why would we use such a high pick on a guy who might not even play this year? He might not even see the field. Wouldn't we want a second round impact to have, I mean, excuse me, a second round pick to have immediate impact? And can't fault people for thinking that way, because it's true. You do, you do want that. Uh, even though we know the talent, based off of talent, he was going to be a first-round pick, maybe a top five, top ten pick, based off of talent. But if availability does not match talent, then what good is the talent? But now the Ravens could start to reap the benefits uh, of taking David Ajabo so early. So one thing that you hope is like, hey, this guy got to be a steal. He got to be a steal. And if he can get back to Michigan form, and you know, you know, you know somebody who's really got to be happy about this? Mike McDonald. Mike McDonald has got to be just through the roof right now in a good way uh, because he's got to be like, oh, my goodness. These Ravens, they drafted him just for me. Just for me. Y'all remember that commercial? Just for me about the hair and stuff. I know, I know a lot of y'all probably don't. Anyway, um, Mike McDonald got to be super, super happy, man. Because he gets his guy back soon. He gets his guy back. And he's got to be like, oh, yeah, this, this, this is what we need. Because his, his past defense has been coming along. It's been getting better and better every week. But the past rush has still been, oh, yeah. But then on top of that, like, think about this. This is, where, this is where things get even better. The Ravens, they lost a the guy. They lost their best pass rusher this year so far uh, to a groin injury, that being Justin Houston. He could be on the way back too. And we, again, with groin injuries, they could be a couple weeks. They could be like a month, but probably like two, three weeks. But so they'll, they'll get Justin Houston back any day now too. So you could you get Justin Houston back. I think he'll be back earlier than Bowser and Ajabo will. But you got Adafi away. Who's get, it's, it's close. It's close. It's close. He's still been struggling a bit, but it's, it's close. So you got Adafi away. You got JPP. Um, you, you could get Justin Houston back any day now. Oh, hey, today will be nice. You never know. Um, and you could get. Uh, Bowser and Ajabo as well 
So things things are looking up. Help is on the way uh, for the pass rush. And like we talked about, hey, it can't get no worse than what it's been, right? Especially how inconsistent it's been and whatnot. But the fact that help is on the way, uh, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Um, we talked about earlier this week that if the Ravens had a pass rush, I feel like their defense could be excellent. They could be excellent if they had a pass rush. Because that would, oh my goodness. Because again, the second day, again, for you to do that against Jamar Chase and Tyler Boyd and Joe Burrow, Hayden Hersey, if you to hold them to what, 217 yards, something, I forgot what it was, 200 something yards, under 250. Especially for what you done gave up. And then to 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 hold Josh Josh Allen. You see what he did to Pittsburgh? To hold Josh Allen for a whole game. Like, Pittsburgh didn't even hold him to 217 in the first half. I think he had like over 300 yards, four touchdowns in the first half. But for you to hold Josh Allen to one touchdown and 217 yards in a full game with Stephon Diggs, with Dawson Knight, with Gabe Davis, with McKenzie, they even had a, a wide receiver come off the bench and get a like, nice little chunk of change of yards on a screenplay. Ravens tighten up on the screenplays. But anyway, that means Ravens defense, they on the way, man. They, they on the way. So the pass defense been doing a lot better. Now it's time for the pass rush and run defense, too. Run defense, there you go, some work they're doing. Again, Saquon Barkley, ooh, yes. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how it goes. But um, for the pass defense to be coming along, Adding a pass rush to it will make it that much nicer. So, just like David Ajabo and Tyus Bowser and Justin Houston won't be saying for too much longer, we out.